Good afternoon guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video over here on the Chinese Zodiac and Horoscopes. We're going to be doing a reading this afternoon for the rooster people and those born in the year of the rooster. So if you're born in the year of the rooster or know anybody that's born in the year of the rooster, then this is the reading for you and them. So uh, let's get straight on it and pick three cards and see how your week has been this week. Oh, come on. We haven't had any uh, shuffling related accidents recently so I'm hoping we can get this done relatively quickly and basically go and stop let's just stop there let's just do that let's go there let's go there and that one there from the top and what have we got we got a white we got a black we got a black we got white black black hmm doesn't look great does it where do we start straight off the get-go there with a tiger card um that tiger hmm something emotional something uh not bad it's a uh it's a white card but white doesn't always mean all right does it let's be honest um and when it comes to obviously uh when it obviously comes to uh the rooster and the tiger compatibility i think realistically it's moderate at best so when we're looking at positive and negative here it's kind of in the middle you're not looking at anything bad you're not looking at anything good but i do think there's emotional stuff there there's something that is bringing up some kind of, uh, I don't know, some sort of romantic stuff, emotional stuff. Yeah, that tiger's definitely got more um, sort of like emotional attachments to it than most cards. And I think there is something maybe romantically or relationship wise uh, going on here. Um, I think this could be something to do with somebody that's quite close to you. And uh, maybe you've resolved some stuff, actually. I think maybe what's happened here is you've had a bit of a disagreement with somebody. It's been a bit of an emotional uh, kind of week, but you've managed to get through it. And I think uh, things have been OK. Like you've not uh, you've not lost your temper. So that's good. And you haven't, um, I don't know, gone on the attack so much. You're not competing for centre stage um, or or being questioned or interrogated to, as to why you feel the way you feel, because this is emotional. So it's about feeling. Um, and how you're feeling right now. Um, yeah, I think realistically, you are, you're in the processes of resolving things. You're, you're looking for resolution. You're looking for things to, uh, to fix or you're fixing things. That's why I think this might be something to do with romantically. Maybe, uh, there's been an argument, a bit of a debate, something hard recently that you've had to come out. So you've, you've basically had to overcome a mountain it should have been a molehill originally. It's just been blown out of uh, proportion. But luckily, you were resilient enough to put up with it or to get through it. And now you're overcoming it. So you're actually feeling like you're in a better place than you were before, I think. So that's good. That is good. Um, yeah. You're kind of picking out on those little details. That's what you're doing. You're ironing out the wrinkles, I think, uh, is the best way of putting it. You're... you're you're not in a bad place right now. You've been in one. It's been very up and down, but there's been some resolution. But I don't think it's over yet. I think you, you're coming to different... Like things are being resolved. You're coming into a different place. You're coming to a new place. There's that rat there. Again, romantically, that rat... Yeah, I, I, I see this as something that is important to you. It's something in your life, like a partner, uh, a wife or a husband. It's somebody that is is very close to you. It could even be a brother or sister. It could be a mum or a dad. It could be a friend that you see, a neighbour that you, you go around every day. This is somebody that's not temporarily in your life, like a work colleague or, or somebody that you see occasionally. This is somebody that has been in uh, your life for a while, or at least is very significant in your life. Um, and things have been hard because of the lack of communication. You know, you're talking, but that leads to arguments. Those arguments, they're, they're testing the patience of both of you or the people involved here, you know. You're criticising them, you're criticising you, you know. You're being picky, they're being picky, you're being petty, they're being petty. It's turned into a competition now. Who's right, who's wrong? Let's fault find, let's point fingers. There's an atmosphere. It's not a good one. Um, and you want to fix this. Like I say, emotionally, you're in that place where you want to just fix it and make things right. And that rat knows that there's things to do in order to do that, you know, but you don't have the patience for it because you've, you've been waiting a while. It's been going on a while. 
um, and you're trying to work through it, but things aren't being diffused, are they? It's not. It's not really like the, the temporary fixes that you've put on this aren't really making much of a difference. Yeah, I think realistically, what's happening here is a struggle because you're not communicating at the right times with the people when they're ready like maybe you're trying to force a conversation onto somebody or you're closing off when they try and have a conversation with you this has got a lot to do with patience you need to be patient i think in this in this uh in this respect i know it's going to be annoying because you don't want to wait around with this you want to fix it you see a problem you want to get it fixed you see a mess you want to clean it up but unfortunately that is not going to go well because you're just going to end up having another argument. You're either going to become resentful of the people around you or the person that's not helping you clean the mess. Or you're just going to look like some sort of, uh, I don't know, arrogant person that's just coming in to clear up the mess because nobody else is doing it. I think realistically right now, just just keep talking and communicating as honestly and openly as you can. Honesty is the best policy here. You're resolving things. Don't think you're not. This is good. This is progressive. But it's the patience that you don't have that you kind of need to work on. That's why you're getting frustrated and irritated. And there's that rooster card. That's you. Boom. Coming in. You've got your doer there. You know there's stuff to do. You've got your emotional card there. You're, you're dealing with stuff. But don't forget you. Don't forget you. Because if you do... You're just going to end up doing what other people want you to do, like a people pleaser, you know? Um, yeah, this is definitely something to do with romance and a partner of some description. Um, and I think realistically what's happening here is it's a, it's a play for dominance and control. You don't want to be the first one to break the silence and neither the, do they. Or, you know, it's, it's that kind of vibe here. It's that kind of um, cliche of, well, they don't want to talk, so I'm not going to talk. It's that kind of, oh, well, I will if they will, but I won't if they won't. You're not going to get very far like that, I'm afraid, my little rooster people. You are not going to get very far at all. One of you has got to give. One of you has got to... One of you's got to take a step back. Because right now, you're just trying to upstage each other, or you're just trying to find more problems. You'll say, you've done this, so then they say, yeah, but you've done that. So then you'll say, yeah, but you did this and this. And then they go, yeah, but that's because you did that, that and this. And that's just going to cause more problems. I think right now it, it, it's a time to, to take accountability. Because you're criticising yourself, you're criticising them. You know, you can't stop with the sharp tongue, with the, with the wit, with the... Almost, I don't want to say spite, but it almost is spiteful. Because you want to win. You want to win. That ego is going to get the better of you. This isn't about winning, this is about compromise, negotiation, it's about balance, it's about trying to find a happy medium where people are all happy, um, and I think you know that deep down, you're not a bad person, you're quite a good person, you just gotta, you just gotta know when to quit, you just gotta know when to back down a little bit, concentrate a little bit more on things like, maybe this isn't so much a doing card as in a sense of get stuff done, maybe you're just doing too much and you're trying too hard, you're doing too much, you're trying too hard, when patience is the key, you don't need to keep trying. You don't need to keep trying to get it fixed or make it work or or dragging it up or going back to the same old conversations. Maybe that's that's gone now. It's past. It's time to let it go. Move on from it. Move on from it and allow yourself now just to judge yourself. Sit there and judge yourself all you need to and say, yes, I've been disrespectful to myself and others. Yes, I could have loved myself a bit more, and others. Yes, I should trust myself a little bit, and others. You know, this is about you, and it's about the others. It's about the other person, the other thing, the other situation that you're in. It's time for you to now think to yourself that this isn't about me. This is about everybody involved in this as well as me. This is a pack rat card, which means there's definitely other people involved. And the tiger is that emotional card as well. And I think if you want equality and fairness in this, if you want things to work out, if you want things to go well, the best way to do that realistically is to just to listen to, listen to the advice that people give you around you. And I'm not saying take their advice, just listen to what people are saying around you. Think about it. Think about your own uh, sort of thoughts and, and how you feel about it. And potentially write a list. 
write a list of the pros and the cons, the good and the bad, the things that you want to change, the things that you don't want to change, you know, maybe start, maybe start putting uh, sort of words into, uh, onto pen and paper, and instead of talking about it, write it down so you've got some goals that you and your partner, you and your someone, or you and this situation, it will be written down so you have something to work on, something to, as a, like a guide almost, is something that you can look back on and say, yes, I'm making progress, or yes, I need to focus more on here. I think a lot of this comes back down to focusing on yourself here, and uh, maybe criticising yourself a little bit, but that's going to happen anyway. You will be a bit critical of yourself because you'll blame yourself in some respects, but if this person or this thing is worth having in your life, patience is the way forward. Patience is definitely the, the key I think having a little bit of patience and that will lead to understanding and comprehension over time. And then, then the resolution will come, but we'll find out, won't we next week when we come back and we'll do another reading for the rooster people next Friday. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, give us a like, leave us a comment below. If there is anything you want to talk about, I'll be back tomorrow for the uh, dog and the boar. So, uh, if you're checking out all the videos or if you are, uh, you know, just keeping up with the videos for educational purposes or whatever, I'll see you then. But for all the roosters that just tune in on Rooster Day, I'll see you guys next Friday. Love and peace.